Somebody asked me, how did I get started in web development? I'll give you the short version in this vlog. It was way back, way back in time, back in 1994, I had an import-export business, rare fish, water purification products, frozen foods, a dry line, et cetera, et cetera. So my brother walks into the room. It was a small business. My brother walks into the room and says, you know, you should get a website up. And I said, what's a website? This is way back in the day when most of the web was just academic web pages. Think gray backgrounds with purple text and uh, white text. And the web wasn't commercial at that time. At, at, at that time, Bill Gates was saying, well, the web is just a fad, etc. So it was really early on in the development of the World Wide Web. Anyhow, so I decided to put up a website. In those days, there were no web design courses, there were no video courses, no books on the subject. Well, books were starting to come out, but very few. And so I put up one of the very first websites in the world, period. And then I had one of the very first commercial websites, business-related websites in the world. So in those days, I just had to write raw code. And that was just basic HTML. CSS was, I don't even know if the specification existed at that time. Anyhow, so I put up my first website. And the website was actually pretty good in terms of opening up markets in Europe, into Asia, Hong Kong, Singapore. It allowed us to communicate with people in a, in a way that had never been done before. So that's how I got into that. So a few years later, I maintained my own website, writing basic code. A few years later, I sold out of that business, and then I was like, what am I going to do now? So I decided to get into the whole web development consulting business, and I learned how to program. In 96 it was, or 95, I forget now, I learned basic JavaScript, but just basic stuff. JavaScript did not go on the server side until many years after that. In those days, if you're doing server side web development, you were typically using Perl, Perl CGI programming, which is a very basic stuff. We used to use Perl, we used to use flat file, databases, which was kind of like a um, uh, kind of like a MongoDB, but a very primitive version of that kind of stuff, a NoSQL database, if you will. But then uh, Microsoft came out with a technology called ASP, Active Server Pages. It was a, a whole new way of looking at developing web apps, or we used to call them dynamic websites. And so, yeah, I jumped on the active server pages bandwagon because it was so much more productive than traditional pro CGI programming. Like, so much more, like five times more productive. My very first, I don't know, no, it wasn't my first, but my first big web app with active server pages was a early version of a social network. And uh, so a company approached me and asked me to, to fix a social network app that had been built for them by another company using Pro CGI, and they could never get it to work properly after over a year. It was a year, a year and a half, something like that. So I went in, I looked at the project, and I uh, assessed it, and I looked at the code base. It was such a mess. That was the problem with Pearl. Pearl programming is really, really messy because Pearl had all these different ways in which you could accomplish the same task. And it sounds kind of good on paper, but in reality, it can create a lot of confusion. And one of the, one of the jokes in the Ruby programming community was that you, know, you, you would write code, your Ruby, you would write, not Ruby, Perl programming community, you would write your Perl code, and then three months later, you would forget what the hell you were doing in that code, which is stupid, right? Good code is easy to understand code. If you're writing code that is really complex and strokes your ego because you go, oh, look how complex this code is, try to figure that out, that means you are a junior programmer. The best programmers write simple, easy to understand code. It's kind of like watching an amazing athlete who makes the athletic performance look easy. Those are the best athletes. Same thing with coders. Anyhow. So I assessed their Perl CGI-based system. I said, this is garbage. I'm going to rewrite from scratch, and I'm going to do it with ASP, Active Server Pages, and uh, I'll get it done in 30 days. 
Now, the client didn't believe me because they just spent a year and a half with the old uh, development company and they, they just couldn't get it to work. Anyhow, so I, in fact, rewrote it from scratch and I learned active server pages while doing this, while building the system. That's the best way to learn anything, by the way. Once you have your basics and foundations and programming, you just got to do work, just jump into projects. So I learned active server pages and I built the system out now, in those days, the understanding of how software was written uh, and things like MVC, people didn't talk about in broadly anyway. It was, it was much that MVC, if you don't know, is a um, it's called a design pattern. And it is the basic way in which most apps are created. It's a way of structuring your code so it's logical, it's easy to maintain, it's easy, uh, easy to update, of course. Anyhow. So I built it using the principles that I learned from running my businesses and the principles I learned from martial arts. And finally, the principles I learned from building, it's going to sound strange, centralized aquatic systems. What is that? In my import business, I used to bring fish from all over the world, from Africa, all over Africa, from all over South America. We import them and we would have fish tanks four by four fish tanks, commercial fish, ta fish tanks, and there would be racks of them, and they would be all connected through a plumbing network with a centralized filter and pump. And in building these systems, we had systems with banks of eight, banks of four, banks of 20, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And in building these type of systems, we learned how to build a centralized filtration system in a way that was easy to maintain, it didn't clog up, and, and it provided a productive, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It provided a, pro a productive structure that allowed us to do our job, which was managing all of this fish coming in. Anyhow, so I took principles from that and the other thing, the martial arts in business, and I applied it to building my web apps. And later on, it turned out to be MVC. It turned out to be decoupled code. It turned out to be simplified code, et cetera. And uh, it worked really well. I was able to build the app within 30 days. And that was the first real serious web app. I had built little things prior to that, but that was the first real serious web app I would consider anyway. And it worked within 30 days. Not only did it do everything the old one did, it fixed all the problems and did more. And my clients were amazed. They were amazed. Wow, wow. And I learned a lot. I learned applying that I was able to apply my universal principle as I learned from those other disciplines into uh, software development. And it worked fantastic. And from that, this company had many other companies and it opened up. I got all kinds of contracts with all their other companies. And then I had too much work. I didn't know what to do with it. I had to hire people, yada, yada, yada. So that's how I got into web development and uh, web uh, design. It was based on wanting to uh, build my other business, get a site up, see if I can get clients and so forth. And it just led into that. So that's the story. This is all in the 1990s, by the way. It's all in the 1990s. And I'll stop there. It continues on to where I am now, where I have my teaching platform, my SaaS or software as a service, Studio Web, which is used by schools literally all over the, U the world and students, of course, all over the world. That's it for now. Bye-bye. Now, if you're going to get into web design or web development, you're going to have to learn hosting sooner than later. Why? Because a big part of being a web developer or web designer is to understand servers and hosting, the different options. So this web hosting company, they trust that you're going to stay with them, so they're willing to pay for your web design training. All you have to do is click on the link below you buy one year worth of basic hosting, that's all you need to start with, and you'll get access to my full stack web development course for free. So it's a very, very good deal. This is something that they approached me with a little while ago, about a month ago. I put out a survey, about eight, 900 people responded. More than half said they would be really into this deal. In addition, to buying the hosting to get your free web design training with my interactive training system, Studio Web. This is much, much, much better than simple video-based training. Video-based training is fine. 
Books are fine, but what Studio Web is a fully interactive, gamified training system with instant response, instant help, instant feedback, so you know exactly where you are all the time, plus huge amount of quizzing and code challenges. There's nothing like it out there. We built it from scratch. Now, you may be somebody who've already done my web development course and you want to maybe get into my freelancing and entrepreneur course. So what I will arrange, when you buy the web hosting from the company, you could either choose the web stack course or if you want, I'll create another package that you would get for free, the entrepreneur and freelancing course. Now, there you go. So you got a great option. So you want to get into web design development, have the web hosting company pay for you. You need to learn about web hosting anyway. Some of you may be asking, yeah, but I'm just starting out. I'm, I'm not going to need web hosting right away. With my course, within the first hour, you can start uploading your web pages to the live server to learn how to use a live server, understand domain names, all this kind of stuff. Consider it part of your training. Now remember, a lot of people will go to boot camps and pay five, ten, twenty thousand dollars to learn real world software development and web development and so on. This web hosting company is gonna pay for you. You just gotta buy one year worth of basic hosting from them. That's it. Now, on the other hand, if you already know your web design development and you're ready to monetize it to turn into either a business, freelancing, or maybe get a job, again, get the web hosting good way to promote yourself is to get a website up. Everybody should have a website, your own personal website. Remember, you can't just have a social media presence anymore because you see, you know, regardless of the politics, social media giants like Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, if they don't like you, it can shut you down. So you have to have your own website. So if you're really interested in the entrepreneur and freelance course, I'll throw that in as a package. So you have two options. Get web hosting, get your web stack training, or get the web hosting and get your entrepreneur and the freelance course for free. They're going to pay for it. The company trusts that you're going to like their service so much that they're willing to pay for your training. All right. I hope you like this deal. Link below. Thanks. Bye-bye.